Peter family, those that always trying to criticize, those that's always trying to stop the work and the mandate of Jesus Christ. And so when Jesus spoke these powerful words back then, I would have you to know that the same words are just as powerful even as we speak. For the Great Commission is something that Jesus has given to the body of Christ. He has given a charge to the church that she goes out into the world. But I must admit, I must confess today that when I look most of our churches, we have left from the Great Commission and now we have turned it into the Great Omission. Amen. Amen. When we say omission, it simply means that something is omitted. Uh -huh. Something has been left out. Amen. Undone. Yeah. Uh, neglected. Yeah. From the first initial challenge that Jesus gives to the church. Amen. Amen. And, and when you look at the statistics, it's very sad because it's relevant. When you look around, we find that those who are really out there on the streets that's ministering a group of people that we call the Jehovah's Witnesses. Amen. Amen. They come and knock on your door. Amen. They're doing their job. They're trying to give you the watchtower. Yeah. They're faithful yeah. in their job. And I must applaud them yeah. for being faithful well, yeah. well. to that which they believe. Yeah. So what does it say to the missionary church? Well, yes, sir. We who are members of the missionary Baptist church. Amen. It simply tells us today that when we look around and see how the Jehovah's Witnesses are out there, what about the Baptists? Amen. What about Amen. the Catholic? What about uh, the, 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 the Presbyterians? What about those who also confess to be a child of God? Amen. Amen. The statistics are sad because they reveal the true state of the modern church. Uh, we're satisfied with, 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 with being saved but we're not motivated uh -huh. to see others come to Jesus well, well. and know Christ as Lord and Savior. Somehow we have come to believe that the end of our responsibility is just come to church. Yeah. 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 From the hours of 11 a.m. to 1 or 1.30 p.m. just on Sunday. Well. And then we have the nerve and the audacity to sing a song I woke up this morning with my mind. Amen. Stayed on Jesus. And then some other hymnologist put out a song and said, All day long I've been with Jesus. Well, but the truth be told, most of you don't spend time with the Lord until Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Y'all gonna talk back to me a little bit? Until Sunday morning when the church says, Let's have what we call church. Amen. The only time that we pray is when we come to church. The only time we sing a song is when we assemble together in the household of faith. The only time that we Amen. give our brothers Amen. and sisters hugs is when we come to the house of the Lord. What about on Monday? Amen. Are you being mad on Monday? <laughs> what about Tuesday? What about Wednesday, what about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, what are you doing? Are you whining and dining? Are you huffing and puffing? Are you laying and playing? Are you skipping and dipping? <laughs> Seems like Sunday is the day that people just want to get just religious. Won't get holy. Amen. We pastor on Pulaski 817 and it's a very busy street. Yeah. Right. I've witnessed people who were coming down the sidewalk mm -hmm. on Sunday well. who were smoking on Keisha. Right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Skunk. Mm -hmm. Loud. Mm -hmm. Drove. Mm -hmm. Weed. Yeah. Pop. Amen. They were putting 
come past the church. But yet, I can get a little deep in that. A cigarette. Oh, well. He'll put it out when they're passing the church yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Do all of this. <laughs> if they're cussing, they'll tell somebody, don't do that, wait till we pass the church. <laughs> I heard them say it. Yeah. I had enough sense to respect yeah. the house of God. But what are you doing when you leave well, right. the house of God? Yeah. Yeah. Many of you right now, if I can just go down your avenue, go to your address, or even go to your car. You got something waiting for you in the ashtray. <laughs> you want to get through with church. You got your drink already on ice. Because you wanted to get through at church, but now you're going to get busted and get scummed. Get wasted. Because you're going out tonight. Many of you wish that I'd just sit down right now because you got somewhere to go. <laughs> you got a gathering you want to go to. Come on, talk to me a little while. <laughs> but when we look at this mandate that has been given to us by Christ, well, he tells us in verse number 19, this chapter, he simply starts off with a two-letter word that says go. Point number one that I see in this text, number one, we have a divine mandate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the mandate is simply to go. Well. Now, you cannot spell gospel without using the letters G-O. Right. Right. You can't spell glory without using the letters G-O. You can't spell good without using the letters G-O. You can't spell God without using the letters G-O. Simply means that you've got to go. Look what he says in verse 19. He says, go. Now, we cannot go if we stay where we are. Amen. And we cannot go if we do not make a move. Amen. This verb literally means as you go. As we pass through this world, we as Christians, as missionaries, as preachers, are to carry the gospel message with us. Yeah. Sharing it with everyone we meet yeah. along the way. And there are two ways that we can do that today. Yeah. First way that we can carry the gospel of Jesus Christ, it involves our lifestyle. Well, yeah. The way that you live your life. Yeah. Amen. You can share the gospel with somebody else. Someone said, make the works I've done. Yeah. Speak for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. May the life I live yeah. speak for me when I'm resting in my grave and nothing else can be said. Let the works I've done speak yeah. for me. Yeah. We can share the glory of God, the gospel of Christ in our own lifestyle. It involves our lifestyle, but not only does it involve our lifestyle, but it involves our lips. Amen. We are told to teach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That word has the idea of making disciples yeah. or to instruct others. Yeah. Now, you may be deaf, but you know sign language. Amen. <laughs> and you know how to tell somebody else what Jesus says. Now, we got we know how to talk about everything else. Well, oh, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me talk about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Can I help you to get somebody off the phone who you don't want to talk to? Amen. Amen. Let's start talking about Jesus. <laughs> if you start talking about the Lord, yeah. they'll start making up all kinds of stuff. Girl, I got to go. Yeah. Man, I got to get, I got to pick up the wife. I got to pick up the kids. I got to do something. But but I come to tell you that 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 we as children of God, it involves our lifestyle. It involves our lips. And when He saved us, He told us to. Go, 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 go. It's not good enough to just show it. But we must also say it. Amen. We've got to tell men, women, boys, and girls to simply go. Go when they don't want to hear you. Go when you don't have enough funds in your pocket. Go. Tell somebody. Instead of sending up an email, send up an email. 
hell and go. When you get home, when you get out of service, many of you right now, you're on Facebook. You're on Instagram. Want to tell them, go tell somebody about Jesus. Take a picture of the word. You take a picture of what you eat. What you're drinking. Why not take a picture of the book of God, the Bible, and tell them the pastor is preaching about going into the world. Is it the great commission or is it the great omission? How would you do that, Pastor Raven, with our lifestyle? Then with our lips. Sisters and brothers, we have not only a divine Mandate. Mm -hmm. Second of all, we have a divine message. It's in the text in verse number 20. Look what it says. He says, teaching them to observe all things. It's in your Bible if you had torn it out. Whatsoever I have commanded you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He tells his followers to share a specific message to observe all things. Amen. Whatsoever I have commanded you, as we go and as we tell the world about Jesus, the message we are to share is very clear. That's all right. Yes. It's very vivid. Yes. Ray Charles can see it and Stevie wouldn't have to wonder. Well. <laughs> he says when we go, share the gospel. Yes. 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 It's Amen. simple. It's simple. He says, share the gospel. Amen. Amen. And that's good news because good news. our message is simply this. Yes. For I delivered unto you, mm -hmm. first of all, that which I also received. Yes. How that Christ. Right. Come on now. Christos. Yeah. Come on. Christ. Right. Yeah. Little of that. Yeah. Yeah. Christ. Right in morning star. Christ. Grandma's walking came to glory. Christ. Bridge over troubled waters. Christ. Bread in the starving land. Christ. Water in dry places. Christ. Then somebody's mother. Then somebody's father. Christ. He says how that Christ died for our sin. According to the scripture, then that he was buried. And that he rose again yes, he the third day yes. according to the scripture. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, share the gospel message is as easy as telling lost people what Jesus did for you. Yes. And not only what he did for you, but what he can do for you. Yes. Because somebody here can testify to the fact that it is no secret what God can do, what he's done for us. Yes. Tell somebody he'll do the same thing. Just for you. Yeah. It's that simple. Come here, boy. Come it's that here. powerful message that the world has ever heard, and that it is a message that must be delivered to a lost world, to a paralyzed population, to a crippled community, to a nasty nation, to a trashy, trashy, trashy couple. He tells us to go out. Yeah. Got work to do, mission. Well, well. I'm glad that you said mission. Come on, man. And that you didn't say stationary. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That, that means missionary means to go. It means that you're active. It means that you're vibrant. But many of us have turned from missionary and now we're stationary. We sing that song, I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I know it. We sing that song, I shall not be moved. I know you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we sing the song standing on the promise for many of us. We're not standing on the promises but we're sitting down on the premises. Yeah. God has given us a charge to go Amen. to the world. Yeah. Help me in about, about my message. Uh -huh. We have a divine mandate. We have a divine message. Then I'm getting ready to get out of here. We got a divine mission. It's right in verse number 19. It's still in verse 19. Look what it says. Teaching them, go ye therefore. Well, well. Teach all nations, baptizing them, name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you all 
old way. Before I get to my final point.